what's happening what's up what's good and what it do soul family i am elegant soul food consecrated nature baby and uh, the energy for today is thoughts are not feelings thoughts are not feelings thoughts are not feelings Thoughts are not feelings. Um, be mindful of the woes of the undisciplined mind. In communication, they can check all the boxes in terms of what they're supposed to say, but there is no follow through with their thoughts or their feelings. So, thoughts are not feelings. A feeling or feelings are um, emotional state or reaction, right? Feel means sensation, the act of touch, the sense of touch, conscious emotion, sensory. It's tactile, the sensation of pain, the sensation of pleasure and illness, um, to feel as a reaction in regards to something like sympathy or compassion or to know beforehand as a feeling of intuition from the divine, right? From the universe, from source, from God. However, now that's the feel. Now, on the other hand, you have thought. Thought, the process of thinking, a thought, conceive of in the mind, consider, memory, deliberation, attention, even devotion. These are thoughts. An idea or an opinion produced by thought thinking. So you have sudden thoughts and then you have deep thoughts. Just because you have a deep thought, that does not make it a feeling. Think, imagine, cause to appear to oneself, to seem to appear. This is why the phrase imaginary liars Uh, because people have imaginary emotion and they respond to a thought as if it was real. And so then they begin to communicate as though that thought that they had is an emotion and that it's real. And then that's where the term imaginary liar and then imaginary emotions these are not the same things, you see. So then, I found this list because it, it's important. Again, I keep talking about life being challenging as it's supposed to be challenging. And another word for challenge is hard. Life is supposed to be challenging and hard, but it's not supposed to be bad. And it's your ability to flex the appropriate muscles. As you know, this is a word power. I'm a word power advocate. And this everything I talk about is always with word power. Because we're speaking and preaching our reality. And our divine better self into existence with our words. Right? We all fall short. This is why we have to keep practicing. This is why life is challenging. Because you have to keep practicing what you preach. Until so you're living it. Okay. So. I follow this healing family. And this healing family. Has this list of toxic thoughts to release. Keep in mind. What we just talked about. Thoughts are not feelings. Alright. So the toxic thoughts to release. Grievances. Against others. 
complaints or gripes about situations or people. You know these people. 90% or more of their conversation is a grievance against somebody else, a complaint or a gripe about situation or people. That's very um, important to remember as we think about the woes of an undisciplined mind. These are the thoughts that they have and they will evoke their thoughts with feelings as if they're true to sway you or, and that's their natural way of being who they are at the moment. And it's a sign of uh, arrested development in terms of their growth, right? Um, toxic thoughts to release continued. Resentment over things that didn't work. Year in, day in, all day. They go back to the same resentment of things that didn't work over and over again. Reasons we think we will not succeed in life. Behaviors, we want people to change. I want to change other people. Conform to my thoughts. Conform to my traits. Conform to the way I want things done. They'll say, I'm selfish. I want, I want. And they'll lash out against you. Because they can't persuade you to um, change, to conform to their toxic traits. Um, standards we expect others to meet, expectations that become demands, disappointments that consume our thoughts, chronic negative self-talk, lies we believe about ourselves and others, excuses we make for poor attitudes or behavior, hyper-focusing on failures, Dwelling on faults we see in others or ourselves. Allowing frustrations and irritations to take over. Becoming consumed with fear, worry, or concerns. Accusations against ourselves or other people. We want to be mindful of the woes of an undisciplined mind. And when I say undisciplined, I mean it just like I'm saying it. The biggest crux that I've noticed with people is that these socially, sociably acceptable addictions are running people out of control. And um, the people that are not addicts, or people that are working hard to stay out of addictive mentality situations. You keep running into these people, but they're your friends. They're your families. They're your children. But these conversations need to continue to be held. An undisciplined mind will shred and wreak havoc, and we still need to meet these people with love. But at the same time, you got to protect yourself. You got to protect yourself. So I'm going to pull some energy around this message. Thoughts are not feelings. Thoughts are not feelings. Thank you for your time and your patience, and thank you for listening. I'm going to be here long. Thoughts are not feelings. That's too much. This one card turned over. That's the one card turned over. We're going to deal with it. Vision. No matter what you see, the bigger picture of loving no matter what you see the bigger picture of loving Let's see if we can say this no matter what you see the bigger picture of loving vision 
No matter what your blinders. Oh, now that your blinders are coming off, you are able to see the world and beyond the physical through your spiritual vision. You are embracing the sacred mission, which is the reason you agree to participate in this dimension. You can envision a universe so vast, beautiful, and spectacular that miracles are part of your everyday experience. Your higher intellect has been stimulated and you can recognize the higher essence of souls and their lessons. If you watch the video I just posted a day or so ago, when I was talking about the interacting with people like this and the reason to disconnect from it is because you're experiencing a lesson I've already experienced or a lesson I don't need to learn either in this lifetime or in this year, in this day of my life. Keep that in mind. You are able to grasp the difficult lessons of grief, loss, and sorrow, seeing them as experience from which to grow. Spiritual guides, angels, and master teachers are drawn to you. Whether you are aware of their presence or not, you have agreed on a soul level to be a conduit of deep spiritual truths which you easily manifest into physical. You have a strong intuitive sense of what you need to be doing on a large scale to bring your vision to the masses. This may be the creative art, such as writing, singing, painting, speaking, or as a spiritual practitioner. As you embrace and live out your vision, you remind others how to dance to the tune of divinity and oneness of being. So personal. <laughs> I'm gonna do a goddess energy card. Yeah, and that's gonna be it. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you listening. And I hope this message finds you well. Feelings are not thoughts. There's nothing on in the house, and I keep hearing something. Then when I try to listen, it goes away. Feelings are not thoughts. Feelings are not thoughts. Feelings are not thoughts. Feelings are not thoughts. Oh, baby, that's a lot. I just, okay, this is one turned over. So I'm going to take the one. That's just one turned over. I'll just take that one. And the card is Seasons. Seasons. The grandmother of all Orishas, the wise woman, herbalist, and healer. You have now entered a new cycle that is very old. Allow yourself to become present. Trust in divine timing. Don't be in such a hurry. There are no shortcuts here. Are you ready for a new beginning? You are in or entering a new season that will force you to evolve the time. This time. Oh, this is a time of a major transition. You are not stuck. You are holding on to old patterns. Change can be terrifying. Allow yourself to be mentored. When you choose a new path, you are ripe for self-sabotage. Feelings are not thoughts. When you choose a new path, you are ripe for self-sabotage. A commitment test from the universe may pop up to delay this new pathway. Stay the course. Your time is now. Your God, God is declaration. I am limitless. Mm -hmm. Leave you one more. I'm gonna leave you one more. Thoughts are not feelings. Mm. I mean, it's incense. Just 
kid to me. Mm. Thoughts are not feelings. Thoughts are not feelings. Excuse me. Thoughts are not feelings. Two cards. Hope and consciousness. As I enter the great school of life, I hold tight to my faith in God. God love guides me and guards me in every situation I encounter. Regardless of what I confront, I trust in my true nature. Today, I welcome life. I know the light will always return and there will always be infinite possibilities for me. Lastly, consciousness. Today, I pray attention. Oh, I, that's one of my videos, pray attention. This is I pay attention, but you need to pray attention. Pray on your attention for your mindfulness. I pray attention to every thought and feeling. You notice that this says thought and feeling because thoughts are not feelings and feelings are not thoughts. So you have to pay attention to every thought and every feeling, comma, slash, two separate things. We read the definitions earlier. Okay. To every thought and feeling that I manifest, my outer world reflects my inner consciousness. I pour the light of my awareness on most my most constructive thoughts so they will grow and produce the experiences I want. Mindful of what I create in this universe, I become an expression of divine light. All right. Peace, love, be with you. Don't nobody else love you. Elegant Soul Food does. And thank you for coming through. Until next time.